Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In our last tutorial, we created an application with signals and slots and we used the graphical user interface in Qt to demonstrate that. In this tutorial, we are going to use QTCs to write an application for signals and slots and we will be writing the code ourselves. To do that, let's create a new Qt application that we will use to demonstrate signals and slots in C++ by writing our code. All right, now let's create a new project. Go to File, New File or Project. It's going to be a Qt widget application. Click Choose. Give it a name. I will call it Signals and Slots Part 2. And I'm going to save it in my directory. So save yours in where you normally save your files. And click Next. Next. Next again. Next. Now select a kit. I will select this one here. Desktop Qt6.0.3 main GW64 bit. Next. Then finish. Now open the form mainwindows.ui let's resize it remove here right click remove the menu bar okay now you should have something like this now i'm going to add two widgets the first one will be the progress bar drag it to the stage now let's add a horizontal slider now we can resize both. All right. So this time, let's go to the main window.cpp. Here we are going to add our code. I will leave a comment here in pre QT5. We could add is signal and slots this way connect UI horizontal slider command signals value change int command UI progress bar slot set value int semicolon and save it let's run our application build and run it okay great now let's test it exactly it is working we have been able to add signals and slots to the two widgets. But notice here that it stops at 99. The reason for that is by default it's set to 99. In our last video, I showed you how to change it. But now let's do it again. To change it, click on the horizontal slider. And here, the bottom right, where it says maximum value 99 change it to 100 great that should fix our problem for us now i'm going to add a horizontal line to it the reason for that i'm going to add two more widgets to it this time i'm going to add another horizontal slider and another progress bar progress bar and horizontal slider I will change the name for both for this one the progress bar let's give it a name I will call it my PB that is my progress bar for the horizontal slider, I will give it a name, my HS. 
my horizontal slider enter now i'm going to add signals and slots to it let's go to the main window.cpp in qt5 and qt6 you would likely find it this way adding signals and slots in qt5 and above adding signals and slots in qt5 and above now i'm going to use an approach that is slightly different from this one and this is for qt5 and above connect ui my horizontal slider q slider value change comma ui and progress bar reference to progress bar an object of progress bar set to value and save it let's run it again great it was run successfully now let's test it now when i move my horizontal slider it stops at 99 when i move this one it stops at 100 because this was the first one we did and we changed the value to 100 and this is the second one we have just added they are both working close it here let's add more examples now to add more examples i'm going to add some buttons to the screen i will add here push button Add one here, and another one here, and one more in here. Let's format them nicely. All right, this one here, I will call it close window this one let's call it information this one just call it audio let's increase the font size make it bold set it to 12 this one same thing make it bold and set it to 12 and this one we also make it bold and set it to 12 great it's okay for now so let's change the names for this one i will call it my clw my close window this one I'll call it my info or this one I'll call it my sound all right now let's add some signals and slots to the application now to do that let's open our main window.cpp connect you are first one will be for my close window. It's a Q push button. Let's make a reference to it. Clicked. Command. Let's make a reference now to Q application. Exit. Now we close the window. For the second one, connect UI my info. Come on, it's the push button. Let's make a reference to the Q push button. 
when it's clicked when it's clicked again let's make a reference to Q application about Qt semicolon what that we do is when the my info button is clicked Q application show us the about us page and the other one connect UI that was for the third one which is my sound it is a Q push button as well let's make a reference to it when it is clicked Q application beep what we have done here is when we click that my sound button we want the application to beep it will make a sound okay it was run successfully let's test it to see that everything is working correctly and I move the slider here the progress bar moves and I move this slider here the progress bar moves too when I click on information it shows me the about QT information page I'm going to close it when I click on close it should do what it's meant to do that is it should close the application let's click on it great the application is closed let's run it again so that we can test the other button now I've run it again so that we can test the other button the audio and I click on audio I hope you can hear the sound that is the beep so all the widgets are working well in our application in this tutorial we have looked at different ways of coding signals and slots in QTCs using C++ what we have done here is easy to understand in other versions of Qt this is how you use connect to add signals and slots to widgets while in recent versions of Qt for example Qt5 and Qt6 we can connect this way we have some examples here one of the things you need to understand here is that this Q slider we named it my HS you could name it anything you are happy with because it's a Q slider object so we are making reference to the Q slider then when the Q slider value changes we now make reference to the progress bar set value I hope you've learned something from this video in the next video we will create something more advanced as far as signals and slots are concerned in QTCs with a C++ thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel bye for now